What's going on, guys? It's Corey from TG Nation 87. Yes, today is the episode. I own a LS2 Swap 1987 IROC Z. I own a Mustang that's going to be a Terminator Cobra. Super sick. What we're doing today, we're going to lift this up and disconnect the uh, bell help. Yeah, the differential and drain it. And we're gonna take apart everything, remove the C clips, remove the pen, unscrew the bolt so I can take the bow. Uh, I'll show it to you before I say anything. And see, I told you uh, once because I got it bolted up, I still haven't had a chance to yet. It's been very busy. That thing is on there because all I gotta do is like that, and then boom. If anybody was ever wondering what was I going to say. I don't know what I was going to say. I don't know what I was going to say. I Don't you just hate that, guys? When you got to talk about something and you don't want to know what to say. Sorry, guys. I, I know I went away for a minute. I was looking a little bit rough and rigid. And I had to clean it up a bit. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I want to show you what we got to do first. All right. And just like that, we're done. I'm going to jack up the front side, actually, to make sure to keep it even. Because we're on the, this is already an incline, and that's an extra incline to be. So to be safe, I'm going to jack up the front. Yes, guys, now it is back in the air again. There's a couple reasons why, but you'll figure out in a couple of videos that's coming. As you can see, I'm on an incline. So since I'm on an incline, I have to raise that up a little bit more than I have that and that piece fell off. That looks horrible, yes I know. I had to do a whole bunch of stuff just to get it in the air. I'm just like I thought I was going to, just like I thought was gonna happen is I'm starting to run out of daylight, four o'clock. Well, going on four o'clock. Well, like three, like 3.50 something. Daylight. Sun's going down. See how much I can knock out before the night hits. Good morning and welcome back to the channel. I'll extend to see. Let's go and get to the install video. Does it come down here? It come right here. You can see it right ready to go. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna try not to get in your way. So I'm gonna disconnect these. Wanted to do this. I don't know, I have to do that. And somewhere back here is supposed to tell me if this is an open dip. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't need a breaker bar. Okay.
All right, guys, now that I have all my bolts here, I have this one up here at the top, halfway out. So once you open the differential cover, all of this doesn't just slowly come out. And I'll use my little pry bar carefully so I don't make any uh, scratches or grooves or dents on the circle. So now we're gonna let it drain. It looks like it was new. I carefully take it out. Use my hand and slowly but surely take it off. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to clean this up just old oil. Gears look like it's in pretty good shape. Gears look like it's in really good shape. It is a open diff. All right, we'll let that all drain. And once I get done draining, we can move the C clips and everything else. Ran into a common problem. Uh, apparently, I don't have the right tool to get this off. Soon it was going to be this easy. Every damn time. And on top of it, it's starting to rain. And the weather forecast said nothing about rain today. Absolutely nothing about rain today. And it's starting to rain. I feel it. It's starting to literally. Weatherman, the only person I know that can fail his job horribly and still get paid. <sighs> you know, when it comes time for things like this, requires an 8 millimeter socket. I just wish that this end was just a little bit shorter because then I can get inside of here. Take this out. And then I can remove the pen and the two C clips you see on the side. Then I can take the axes out. Until then, I cannot move the axes out. I can't do anything until I get that ball. I'm so sick and tired of being stuck in situations like this. It's very annoying, very time consuming. I really hate being stuck like this. Another thing, I wanted to make a statement. Why in the blue hell did you guys decide to make a 12 point? wrench why in the blue hell did you guys stop making six points and make 12 points 12 points does not have better grip the what has better grip is a six point why because that means you have two they're all is covering all edges with a 12 point you have one covering an edge and one tooth on a flat edge which makes it strip now i gotta specially order eight millimeter and i have that far to go to also when i'm trying to show you i'm, I'm like i'm laying on my stomach so it's kind of hard to talk see it's in there like, like seriously i have to order one of these huge shout out to uh tech tecton because you were literally guys literally like saved my life quite a few times in this some reason i gotta order one online so i can go in here like this and Ratchet it down. You guys are the only ones that come to sense to have fucking six points, not 12. Let me catch you guys up. Don't buy JP Weld. Weld sucks. The only thing I'm about to do is get this weld and stuff. Whenever I can, I can get this weld. It fall apart for some reason. This so on, but it's only a matter of time. Two cones on. Probably going to crack and break too. So let me catch you guys with this piece. I couldn't really do anything underneath it here. But seeing now that it's a fact that I had the oil or the eight millimeter wrench, big shout out to Tecton. You guys helped me out so much. Big shout out to them. So I got this out, the pin out, and I got this out. Let's take these wheels off, remove the C clips. Once I remove the C clips, pull these axes out. I figured that I want to catch you guys up to speed. All right. It's a little hard to get off. Got that axle out. Now it's time to get on the other side. All right, I'm just looking to see how things go so I can take this off for you. I'm losing sun fan, getting cooler. Semi put these on as I'm still not done yet. I gotta get this off. This is all I got done on the other side. I have to get all of that stuff off on this side. It's so ridiculous. I thought I was gonna actually have the opportunity to actually 
put them on. Looks like I won't be able to do that. I'm gonna snow tomorrow, from what I've heard. But what the fuck? Up, I'll start tomorrow, but at least this is nothing without disc brakes. Closing up shop, it's not completely on. But we'll be able to work on the car until maybe not, oh, not tomorrow, probably the next day, considering when the snow melts. Let's go to the other side. <clears throat> Here's the other side, whatever it looked like. This breaks in there. Not gonna lie, it doesn't look bad, even though it's not mocked up the right way. It doesn't look bad at all. They're going along with the pink coat. Not bad. Even though I got a humongous gap. It's coming along. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Not tomorrow. You know, you know, the, the day after. The time has passed. That's how it goes. That kid, the other one, and the other one goes over here. I'll tell you something first. Why do I have this? A nice door max is going by. I hear it. this bolt was rusted on. I mean, this bolt was literally rusted on back here, and I could not get it off for anything. My trusty angle grinder. That's what I had used. I oh my. What I gotta do now is like drill the holes, these two in, and we'll be set. So we're almost there. Sorry, I've been doing th videos three times a week, and it doesn't, it's going to go on. Ran into a problem. You're uh, running into a bit of clearance here. There's a set that I've seen that I wanna get cost a lot right now. At the point, I don't have much money. Oh, I didn't see this coming. It might have to be a part two to this video. I wasn't expecting to do a part two to this video. I wanted to do it all in one shot. And apparently, I can't do that with this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. These are the ones that are in the rear. But let me see what happens when I install the one. That's not fitting. The hub is a bit tube scene where there's that and it comes it curls down a little bit girls are going to have to be the ones that i get not this one i'm gonna have to list these up for sale or something when i get the new ones then then i'll shoot a video for that early puts a stump i'm tired of being at these stumps here I was already at a stump and i had to angle grind that all because it was it took me a whole day to try to get this off and it wouldn't do it at all from like seven o'clock in the morning until like Four what well, four thirty and it got too dark and I couldn't do it so well this is a stab that's gonna take a while. I might have to make a part two of the disc brake install. But let me see what else I can do. I know, so am I. Really? I am oh shit. Am, so this is since you're right there, I'll talk to you guys too. Uh, I'll talk to you too, Kyle. I got the hub and I thought this would fit. Come to find out that this hub does not fit. I had to buy new hubs, well, a new rotor that would actually fit the 300 and something dollars that I spent for these rotors. This, so you basically just spent a worth nothing, basically. Yeah, so it pretty much means I gotta sell these. Okay, question. Why are you having a stick right here holding it up? Because the shocks are shit in this, in this, uh, well, just like the front, yeah, the shocks are shit. The shocks are always shit. But it looks cool though when it's mounted up. I have it actually mounted up the way that it's yeah, supposed to. You got no 32 or 46 inch rim on it. No, I'm not. Don't. I said, are you kidding me? Don't. Pretty cool in there, though. Hey, yeah, let's check out shocks. the other side. Wait, oh, the shocks. I know the shocks are. Yeah, I, I know what type of rotors I want, but they're like. Oh, they're expensive. They're they're pretty expensive. Now what in this car? What on this car isn't expensive? Oh, see what I can do on the other side. It's just it's, it's not in there completely. It's like the inside of it is right here. The end of the shaft is like right here. So there's like that much. If I had that much more, it would work. Like, like that much all it won't work yeah that is something different to look at and that drum break same time it's just not gonna work i got one of different ones and it looks so much different at least i know what it's going to look like when it has the disc brakes it's not no 
So with that being said, guys, it looks like I'm gonna have to close off with that being said. Sucks, I really wanted to get this done today, but does not mean like it's gonna get done today. It's gonna take a long while, so I might as well move on to the next thing until we get to there. At least you know what the prize is for this one. Well, it's like you hit and miss. You get some videos, you get some videos that are good, but then again, you get some videos that are bad. Because so one of the videos, that is bad. So, with that being said, Please guys i'm signing out i'm oh it's, it's time to go so i'm signing out so with that being said guys take care keep it t z all the way to the end guys take care have a great day guys